In this video, we would see how to find the files having more than or less than a specified size in Linux. For example, we will try to find the files having more than 1 GB, 2 GB or 1 MB, 2 MB or 1 KB, 2 KB etc. And also we will see how to find the files having less than the specified size. And how to find the files which are modified before or in some time in Linux. For example, we will try to find the files which are modified two days ago or which are modified in last two days. And also we will check how to find the files which are modified on a particular date or time in Linux. Let us start. Here we have a testing directory and we have different files having different sizes. And also I have a directory called test directory 1. And here I have a file called test new dot txt and which is having 2 gigabytes and it itself has some other directory and file having different sizes so let me go back to previous directory and here if we try to find the files which are having size more than 1 gigabyte so how to write it we have to use a find command and we have to specify the directory here i am specifying current directory as dot and i will specify the type as file because we are trying to find the files example if you want to to find the directories, then we can specify D option as well. So here I am trying to find the files, so I am specifying files. For this size option, we have to send a parameter. Here uh, we have to use plus or minus. For example, if we try to find the files having size more than some specified size, then we have to use plus. So here I am specifying 1 gigabyte. So now we got the output as two files. We don't have any files, so we did not get any output. Similarly, if you want to try uh, finding the files having more than 50 MB, so we can specify 50 M here. So these are all the files having size more than 50 MB. So these are all the files having size more than 1 kilobytes. Now we will try to find the files having size less than some specified size. So here we have to provide minus option. For example, if I try to find the files which are having size less than 2 gigabytes, if I give 2 gig here, I should get all these files because all are having uh, lesser than 2 gigabytes. Here we can see there is a problem. We did not get this output, right? So we should get this 1.5 gigabytes, but we did not get it. So how this uh, size works right, so this will treat as integer, for example, so for example if you give minus 2 gig here, it will try to find the files having size 1 or less than it, because less than 2 gig means 1.5 will not work, because it is not an integer. So that is the reason this file did not appear in output, because the file sizes will be rounded to the integers so less than 2 means it will indicate 1 or less than it so that is why we did not get this 1.5 gigabytes so for example if i give 1 gig here actually we should get all these files as output but we cannot get because minus 1 means less than 1 less than 1 means integer means 0 so I, so we don't have any file with zero size that's why we will not get any file here so then how to get files which are having size less than some specified size. So, so instead of specifying minus option here, I will specify plus option. So this will give me all the files having more than 1 gigabytes. So before size, we will put minus not as an option. So this not option means we will get all the files which are having size not more than 1 gigabytes. Right? So that is what we wanted here. So that way we can see all the files which are having less than 1 gigabytes will appear. Similarly, we can get for 2 gigabytes. Now we can see the new file which is having 1.5 gigabytes. This way, not option is useful when we are getting the files are having size or lesser than a specified size. Now we will try to find the files which are modified before or in some time in Linux. So in this directory, we are having the files which are modified in different timestamps. So, for example, test1 is modified on October 30th and we have to specify an option called mtime. So, this option you have to specify here. 
So if I specify two here, that means we'll get the files which are modified more than two days ago, means two days back. Here we can see uh, there are two files test1.txt and test2.txt which are modified more than two days back, right? So that is what more than two days means more than 48 hours. If you want to get the files which are modified in the last two days, what we have to specify here instead of plus two, we have to specify minus two. Now we can see these are all the files which are modified in the last two days. For example, new file.txt is modified on November 4th. Right? So you can see the current date here. So this is November 4th. So we can see new file is modified on November 4th. We also should get test4.txt and we got it. And some other files, these files in the test directory one also modified. We, we can also specify the time in minutes. For example, if you want to get uh, the files which are changed more than 60 minutes, right? So we can specify the m minute here and we can specify 60 here. So here we got the output which are having files which are modified more than 60 minutes ago. And if you want to find the files which are modified in the last 60 minutes, then we have to specify minus here, then we did not get anything. Okay. So for example, if let me try to create a new file here. I will create a test file 5 for example. So now if I give the same command, I should get this file. So because this is just created just now. So in the last one hour we have created created the mod file. So that's why we got this file. Now we'll try to find the files which are modified on a particular date or time in Linux. For example, if you want to find the files which are modified on October 30th or 4th November. So how can we do? Find command provides an option for new or xy and reference. So this reference we can give as a date. So this date indicates like so with this date we can get the files which are changed on a particular date or timestamp. When we specify the reference as date, then this y should be the t option. So that means it will take that as a time because this reference can be a file or a timestamp. So since we are specifying with time, then this y should be t. And this x should be the modification time of the file. So that is what because we are trying to check the files which are modified on a particular date. So if you want to check the access time of a date, then you should give x as a and y as t. But here we will give x as m and y as t. So our option will be new year mt. So now uh, I will give the find command here. I I can type f and I will give new year mt which is a modified time and we should give particular time here. So I will specify with the year first, we should give the year first then the month. So month will be November means 11 and 4th. So now we got all the files which are modified on a particular date. You can also specify a particular timestamp as well. For example, if I specify here 2232. Right, so I should get only this file. So now I got only the test file file. So this way we can get all the files which are modified on a particular date or timestamp with near empty option of find command. So in this video, we have seen how to find files having different sizes and different modified times. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks a lot for watching.